possessions. And Xavier will have the ball, and away we go. 20 minutes in regulation, a trip to the Elite Eight. Xavier, undersized, the underdog, trying to hang in there against the two seed and the Arizona Wildcats. And Blue misses. Right away goes to the hole. You see Kadeem Allen back on the floor. He played in just five minutes of the first half. He got an early foul trouble. He is a big part of what Arizona wants to do. And we're going to get a foul on Blewett. Two-point Arizona lead. It was Raleigh Alkins who just drew that foul, who hit the shot at the end of the half to put Arizona on top. And here is Allen trying to get back in the game. And an offensive rebound right on cue. Ristich scores, has 11 points now, and the offensive boards are up to 12. We got a foul, count it. Basket is good by Malcolm Bernard and a chance at a three-point play. You have to beat size with speed, period. You have to get down the floor first and not let the defense set up. Look at this. Bernard gets it. He keeps going and attacks it. He has to. You cannot let those seven-footers sit back and wait for you. And the lefty Bernard cannot hit the free throw. Say thank you to our friends from Synergy for providing some of the detailed statistics here tonight. Two-point Arizona lead. Trier struggling from behind the arc. Normally good. 0 for 4 from 3. Marketing lines up a 3. And it's Ristich with a rebound, and he is fouled. I love Marketing outside shooting the 3. But the great thing about the great players in the game, you always take advantages of mismatches. He's 7 foot, he's inside. He should get in the post, down with his other big fella, and make sure that they impose their will. They're already dominating on the offensive boards. But his size can help much inside instead of letting him off the hook every play behind the three-point line. Now Ristich, two fouls in the first half. Played 13 minutes, has 12 points now on five of seven, and just about everything is inside. And a lot of easy baskets and a lot of offensive rebounds. Xavier has 13 total rebounds. Arizona has 13 offensive rebounds. And they are plus nine on the offensive glass. Major concern, I'm sure Chris Mack. When O'Mara's on the floor for Xavier, he does settle that part of the game down, but how many minutes can you ask out of Sean O'Mara? We'll see. Arizona started by scoring the first seven points of this game, and they're off to a good start here. Tyreek Jones, nice pass by Makura. Jones with the catch and the finish. Jones, strength actually neutralizes the size of Arizona. Jones has a mismatch inside, need to go to him. And Ristich will take him on, and that was pretty. Right-handed little hook shot. Either one of these guys can card each other. Ristich and Jones should be a good battle the rest of the game. Ristich, the junior from Serbia by way of the Sunrise Christian Academy. This international flair here for Arizona, their big men. Markkanen from Finland. And we're going to kick ball. We'll stay in the possession of Arizona. You don't always have to set the screen. Look at how your defender is playing you that time, young players. Look, the slip automatically mm -hmm. catch the defense lead. And a freight train coming, too, yes. when he catches and turns. Tyreek Jones, the freshman from Connecticut, he'll take a seat. O'Mara is in. Makura slips free. Makura with the left hand scores the basket. Hanging in the air, J.P. Makura. Chance at a three-point possession. Ristich picks up his third. This is a college and an NBA play. It's called the flex. If you're an NBA fan, Utah Jazz made it famous with Stockton coming off that first screen, transitioning. And if you're a college fan, you've definitely seen it from Indiana and Princeton multiple times. Three fouls on Ristich. He has 15 points. Sean Miller is going to let it ride for now. And Makura can't finish off the three-point possession. Two-point game. Arizona with the lead. Trip to the Elite Eight is on the line. And a date with the top seed, the Bulldogs of Gonzaga University, who won a thriller in our first game against West Virginia. That's a turnover. Makura disrupted it. And that'll be Xavier Ball. 
Sure, the intensity. He's trying to do it all. He's yelling at his teammates to get involved with himself. He sprints and just anticipates this just like a DB. Good job. Turnover. Xavier, a warning on their bench. All the assistants stood up cheering that turnover. And Terry Weimer sat him down. Here's Blewett. Misses. Rebound by Hawkins. He wants to push him. Good job getting back for Xavier. Poked by Makira. Markkinen wrestles it back. And now a foul on Gooden. His second foul, the freshman point guard. You do not want to foul Arizona. Arizona's third highest free throw in school history. 676%. They have four guys that can flat out knock it down from the free throw line. Do not let it pile up. Do not get in the bonus early if you're Xavier. I was interested to see how the Xavier freshman handling that first weekend as Ristich gets it deep again and scores again. And now with 17 points, Ristich has all of Arizona's points in the second half. Breaking free, Malcolm Bernard with a two-handed jam. Stay aggressive, attack the guys inside. Big fellas have to be there to help the penetration from the guards. Hawkins. And that's a merit of cleared away. And Gooden will run the point. You know, Chris, you get into the first weekend, and it was a great run by Xavier. They won their first two games, but then they sit a week, and all the hype and all the interviews. As Bernard hits another one first, the dunk, now a three. And just like that, Xavier is on top. We talked about and tried to downplay the relationship between the coaches, but we saw Coach Kerr here earlier. I've interviewed him multiple times, and he always gives credit to his mentor, not just Phil Jackson, but specifically Coach Popovich. He talks about how much he learned from him. I think the same goes uh, for these two coaches, too, mentor and mentee. And all those great years with Lou Olson at Arizona as well, and so many great players. Yes. Shot clock down to three. Trier, a lot of dribbling here. We'll put it up. No, and there's O'Mara. They're a different team with O'Mara on the floor. Trier actually avoided contact that time. Next time he'll see, I have the guy up in the air. I need to go up into his body. Trier is struggling. Four points, two for nine from the field. He's missed all four of his three-point attempts. Trier averages 17.1 a game. Akira drops it off. O'Mara! Two-handed jam! Bill Murray loves it. Timeout, Arizona. Xavier assist for J.P. McCura, the junior from Lakeville, Minnesota. Last year, the sixth man of the year in the Big East. Prominent starting role this year. So Xavier has the ball. But check it, Xavier up with Arizona with the ball. Ristich has eight points this half. And he'll sit now as Comanche comes in. Ristich with three fouls. Almost lost the handle there. And Hawkins. Well, that's a nice finish. A little teardrop. A quick shot, too, in the lane. One point game. Clinton Gooden, freshman point guard from Kentucky. His remade roster. There's McCure. He springs free, but a whistle. And I believe we're going to get that on Allen, perhaps. And that'll take us to a timeout. Think about the tradition of those two schools. That's just going to be a fun one to watch. And yeah, ho-hum, North Carolina in that bracket, too, with five yeah, yeah, national just, championships. Just five. That is a blue <laughs> nice. blood division uh, region there with Butler as the other Big East team, along with Xavier. And that's going to go the other way. Whoa. Blewett and Allen B.A. have been going at it all game, or the second half. Right before the break, we saw it, and that's a great call by the officials right there. Blew it with a push-off and loses the ball at the same time. There was a little bit of a delay there, and Pat Adams, who is officiating his 11th Sweet 16, a guy who has done four Final Fours, wow. made that call emphatically and gives the ball back to Arizona. Now, remember, one of the points of emphasis this year is to create some space in front of the offensive player. So I think that's what Chris Mack's argument was. Here's Markkinen. Yes. Well, he has a sweet stroke. That's why I like him on all positions of the floor. When he stands at the top of the key waiting for a three-pointer, he's easy to check. But when he's all over the floor, you don't know where he is. So difficult to go. Arizona back on top. Almost a pick by Al. He does. He deflected it. 
All the way in and destroyed by Malcolm Bernard. That was easy pickets. Blew it with marking it on him. High arcing three. Back iron. Trier with the rebound. What great action here. Last few possessions. Now Trier lost it. Ends up with Markkinen. And Alkin says, give me a breather here. <laughs> Incidentally, going into that last timeout, it was Hawkins who got the foul, not Allen. So he still plays with two. Kadeem Allen probing. Finds Trier. Three-point try is up. And good. Steve Kerr knows a thing or two about three-point shooting. <laughs> and one finally goes down for Trier, his first make of the night. You're right about that. But it was the patience of Allen being a deep boy on offense, attracting two men, finding the open guy cross court. 7-0 run. Looking to answer. Front iron. Blewett comes up short. Blewett started 7-7 seven of seven from the field. He has missed his last five shots. Uh, what do we have here? A little moisture on the floor, I think. They want to get this cleaned up. And both benches have been warned already tonight. And so here we go. Under 13 minutes remaining in regulation. Arizona on a burst here. 7-0 run to get him ahead. Four-point lead for the Wildcats. Blewett sits. Allen stays. You don't imagine Blewett's going to be on the bench long. Mark it up. It's six on the shot clock now. Gets it back. Jackson Cartwright gives it up. Here's Allen for three. Short. Markinen runs it down. Another offensive rebound. A long board for the Cats. To break a zone, you have to have a man in the middle. I would love to see Markinen get in that position because he can pass and score and shoot over everyone. It's a long time to play defense if you're Xavier. Operating in that 2-3 zone. Here's Trier. Does he have it? In and out. And Bernard able to save it. Wow, what a play. That could have been another opportunity for Arizona. Excellent work by Malcolm Bernard. Xavier is fighting hard here, trying to hang with the two-seed Arizona. This program so connected with their coaches. Gates fumbled it, gets a pass to Bernard for three. Yes, sir. It looked messy, but it ends up rosy for Xavier. Another slip of the screen, but this time he slipped it for a teammate. He did not have an open layup through the cross-court pass, but that's what you want to do. Switch up the way that you execute certain plays. Bernard's hit two threes now. He's given him a lot. Trier, eight on the shot clock. Taking on O'Mara. Nothing home. Now Markin got to get a tough shot up. Akira's on him. Long range three. And O'Mara taps it to his teammate Gates. And here comes Xavier. They hold serve. Chance to take the lead. Akira goes. Pass to Gooden. Look out. Oh, Gooden hanging in the air. And a right-handed jam. Xavier on top. Arizona is going to have to use their size. That is their advantage. Get it to the big fella in the middle, and then he can look over passing lanes and find open guys for a layup. But to just sit out and hope that you make threes is just not good enough. Nine lead changes. Run Arizona that Xavier wouldn't be able to keep up. And then on the other side, Arizona showing their toughness by staying in the game. See how long Blue it's going to sit here. And almost a turnover, and it might be a turnover. Ball's on the floor. That is a held ball. Tie it up. Possession arrow belongs to Arizona. By the way, you saw the number on Arizona, the three-point shooting. They are settling a lot. They have shot 21 three-pointers tonight, made four. Arizona's missed 12 of the last 13. Blewett, who was most of the offense in the first half, has all of the Xavier misses in the second half. As a team, Xavier is 8 for 12 in the second half, and Blewett is 0 for 4. Certainly wouldn't be here without him, though. What a first-half performance by Blue, who's been a second-half performer here recently. I was going to say, Coach said he's in second <laughs> half, so he can still come on. That's Trier in the corner, and he rattles it home. He is starting to find his stroke now, and the 10th lead change puts Arizona back on top. Trier now two for two. His last two three-point attempts, he started 0 for 7 
Or check it out for five from behind the arc. Gates. Short. And there's the rebound by Bernard. Boy, he's given him big minutes. Malcolm Bernard. The grad senior from Florida A&M University. He is so happy to be in this environment playing in an NCAA tournament. Didn't think that was going to happen. He's making the most of it. Omera wants the rock. He's been begging for it. Ristich right on him. Omera. It goes. Soft touch by the big man from Illinois. Great job by the guards paying attention to him. When he calls forcefully like that, that means he feels he has a mismatch. Get it to the big fella. Saw a shot there. Chris Mack's daughters, Laney and Kaylee. They are into every second of this game. All tied at 55. Trier trying to work with Markinen. Will take it himself. The stroke's coming. Oh, He's heating up. And he used a little bit of old man game there. It wasn't about speed. It was about space. A little left shoulder bump and a knockdown. Trier scored 14 in Arizona's win against St. Mary's in the second round. The freshman of the year last year. And it's one and done. Now Trier's got it. Wants to move it. Trier will take it to the corner. Markkinen passes up a three. And now Jackson Cartwright. Makura there with the rebound. Love to see Mark then get in that post. He has a size advantage over anyone that checks him, and he can shoot, he can back pivot, he can get space anytime that he wants and knocks it down. Makura working on Trier. Pulls up and hits it. Jump shot by JP Makura. And Xavier has tied it up. Mystic. Just gave a little bit of bump to McCure, and I just I have to do it in real time because these guys are getting feisty out there. Coming down, Ristic gave an elbow to McCure, like, you're not going to keep doing that. Think about this, too. They are buying, Xavier is buying valuable minutes, rest minutes for Trayvon Blewett. As this game has remained close, still tied. Mack keeps Blewett on the bench. Turnover. Ristic looking for a foul. Didn't get it. Xavier in transition. Good and all the way in. No follow is good. McCure. Wow. This guy's got a heart. Do not want to overemphasize this point, but only because he is so talented. McCurran, he needs to get the ball more, and he needs to get it inside. 14 points. Omero returns to the court as well. It'll be Arizona ball. Xavier by two. Keanu Pinder in the game for the first time for Arizona. And now Allen. And that's McCure with a rebound. He's everywhere. Man, what a performance. Bounce pass to Blewett. Blewett returns. And push off. We've got an elbow. That's on Arizona. Going to get Pender on that. Chris Mack's wife, Christy Mack, known as Christy Hester, one of the great, all-time greats at Dayton. She was a fantastic basketball player. At Dayton for the Flyers in the Athletic Hall of Fame. And she is intense. Rally it up. She's a hooper. She knows fans. what's going on. Here's Blewett. All those moves. Works himself free inside. Trayvon Blewett returns. He had been 0 for 4 in the second half. Xavier by 4. Under 7 minutes to go. Trier scores. Wow. Could have been a travel, could have been a foul, no whistles, and Trier goes strong to the hole. Sean Miller just preaching to us about his team. It is a constant reminder. We have got to be tough. Xavier is going to bring that heat. An 11 seed that has survived this long. A team that's had to overcome a lot of adversity. Injuries, players leaving the program. A team that lost six straight games in February, and here they are. And O'Mara is fouled. And free throws coming for Sean O'Mara. O'Mara has been calling for the ball, feed the big man, but again, old man game, good game, fundamentals, going to work, however you want to put it, whatever you want to say. But the tricks that this guy, Blewett, has in his bag, man, he can put it in the book. Blewett, another 20 point game in the NCAA tournament, scored 29 against Florida State. Backed it up here, short on the free throw. A reminder, follow, follow all of your favorite NCAA events throughout the year with the official NCAA sports app. Get scores, brackets, live updates, 
and live streaming of NCAA championships all year long with NCAA sports. So Ristich go to the bench, four fouls on the seven-footer. Well, O'Mara missed them both. Not a bad free throw shooter, O'Mara, at 72%, but those are two key misses, two-point games. Ona down with the ball. Kick it across. Trier passed up to three. On the take now. Wow, Trier scores, my goodness. Hanging in the air against the big man, O'Mara. What a finish. The up and under, the pump fake. Trier with 16 points now, including two threes in the second half. He's got eight rebounds as well. Here's Makura for three. Wide right. Rebound from Jackson Cartwright, who will get it organized for Arizona. Trier has scored the last 12 points for the Wildcats. Under five and a half, Trier fires again and hits a huge three. Alonzo Trier with 19 and his third three of the half. You see he's being aggressive. He wants those shots, calling for the ball and until some of his teammates come and kind of help him with scoring. Namely McCarron, he's going to have to do it himself. Blue misses. McCarron kept it alive. Ball's loose and look who's got it, Trier. Trier has scored the last 15 points for Arizona. 19 for the game. He has nine rebounds after that board. Arizona by three. Can add to it. Why not? Trier. Covered up by Gooden. Shot clock down to six. And now Allen for three. From deep range, another three ball. They're starting to fall for Arizona. Just like that, six-point Wildcat lead. Timeout, Chris Mack. Ten in San Jose. Gonzaga winning the first game in a grinder against West Virginia. The top seed has moved on. And now Arizona on a 10-0 run, their biggest run of the game. Up six, Xavier with the ball. Trap comes. And here's McCura now, kicks it out, blew it for three. Short. And look who's flying high for the rebound, Kadeem Allen. And now Allen pushing it. Allen just hit a huge three, and Makura with a foul. His third. Great play call by Coach Mack, that last out-of-bounds play. They just didn't get the shot that they, they just didn't knock it down. Blue, it got a wide-open shot. You can't be frustrated, four minutes left. Just continue to lock in on defense if, as you have been doing if you're Xavier. Note the fouls. Each team with six. That'll put both teams on the line with the next one. Four minutes. Marketing been quiet the second half. Tyreek Jones is on him. Marketing spins away from the double, kicks it out. Shot clock gets deep again. Now it's seven. And that is a foul. And I believe they're going to get Gooden with a push. So with six on the shot clock, Parker, Jackson, Cartwright with a one and one. And a foul on Gooden. You see where Xavier ranks free throw percentage. Zona one of the best. 76% free throw shooting team. Now Jackson Cartwright at 69% from the line. And he hits the first. The CBS Sports app is your app for the tournament. Follow your bracket, watch highlights, get instant team and upset alerts. Download the CBS Sports app now to experience every moment of the action. Does Xavier have another counter punch? Trying to fight through a 10-0 Arizona run. And two free throws. Jackson Cartwright extends the lead to eight. Key possessions offensively for the X. Matches the biggest lead for Arizona. They left 10 to 2 after a 7 0 run to start the game. Blewett gives it up. Here's Gooden. He gives it up. Right back to Blewett. 4 3. Yes! 
The dribble drive, three-man weave for Xavier has worked so well because they move the ball from side to side with the dribble, making the bigs of Arizona have to move laterally, looking for the open gaps and the open shooters. What a performance by Blue at 23 points. This group of versatile pieces and their star player that has played out as advertised for Xavier. Again, shot clock gets deep, down to six. Allen with Bakura on it, gets a step all the way in and scores. Boy, Allen is explosive to the basket. What a smart play. Everyone in the gym thought he was going to step back for a jumper. He did not settle, catching the defense off guard. Seven point deficit. Xavier trying to come back and another one. Three point bomb by Malcolm Bernard, his third of the game. They won't die. Xavier's been the underdog this entire run, even going into the Big East tournament. Beat Butler. Lost to Creighton. Won the first two games to arrive here. No answer from Trier. Makira pushing it. Pulls up for three. Back iron. And look at Bernard. And he's fouled. Over the back. Oh, Bernard running the floor. He hits the three. Now a huge rebound for Xavier. If you are Arizona, this is when you impose your will by going inside, by getting extra rebounds. Do not let Xavier off the hook right here. But here's what I talked about, the penetration. Three-man weave, look at that. Penetrate to the middle, spread out, drive, kick. Every shooter wants to catch that ball coming from the basket, Oh, right? it feels so good when you have those. <laughs> you have it lined up and you know your teammates looking for you. You're just waiting to let it fly. Malcolm Bernard hits the first. Man, is he giving Chris Mack and Xavier some huge minutes here. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament, NCAA.com. Women's Final Four is in Dallas on March 31st and April 2nd. And Akira is going to sit. 2.09 remaining in regulation. Two free throws for Malcolm Bernard. 15 points for Bernard. No dump fouls if you're Xavier. If you're Arizona, execute. Do not let him off the hook with a pretty shot. Trier has been the story in the second half for Arizona. He'll pull this one in the face of Bernard. No. And a foul on Markkinen. Over the back. Free throws for Xavier. Markkinen hit for the foul. Shot goes up. If you rebound by committee, mm. you can usually get the foul and just over the back right there and give the Xavier guard, Xavier guard some credit for getting in there and forwards, getting there amongst the trees. A little over 75% blew it, hits the first and has a chance to tie this game after Arizona had matched their biggest lead of eight. Supposed to be resting, JP McCure. I, I was just about to. I, I, I was just about to say, <laughs> sit man, down. sit down, relax. <laughs> he's, he's he's coming pumped. back in. There's Blewett's parents, a couple of former Marines, right there, Renardo and Miriam, and they've seen their son tie this game. 71-71, a 7-0 Xavier answer. Allen gives it to Trier. Malcolm Bernard on him. Two seven footers on each side of Bernard. Here comes Trier. Boy, a lot of dribbling here, Chris. Shot clock down to five. Trier had it tipped briefly, and now it's blocked. First Gates got a hand on it, then blew it with the block. Xavier can take the lead. Blew it. Pulls it up. Short. Allen with the board. He's going fast. One on four. And wisely pulls it back. Blewett did not have to rush that shot. I know he's feeling it, but both teams now are going to have to impose their will. Drive, try to get maybe an open three or a shot, but go to the hole. You have size. Most importantly, attack the boards. Maybe get an extra possession. Starting five on the floor for Arizona. Under a minute remaining in regulation. Ristich. Tyree Jones is on him. Ristich picks it up. Ristich shoots. Air ball. And that's Xavier Ball. Oh, and don't forget Malcolm Bernard. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> They've got wow. great production. Let's yes. see. A lot of options here. Let's see what Xavier has. All tied at 71. Who's going to take that big shot? Dump it inside. O'Mara. O'Mara scores. 
Great call, Chris. Into the big man. The neutralizer in the paint. Xavier on top. 13 seconds separating the game clock and the shot clock. Massive possession for Arizona. Allen, the runner, can't get it to go. And there's O'Mara with the rebound and a whistle. O'Mara will shoot free throws. And Arizona in trouble with 22 seconds left. Young fellas, you see the swerve and the seal. You can do that. You don't need a play call for you. You can actually run down the court and just seal like this if you want to. O'Mara has been calling for the ball, telling the guards, get him the rock. He finishes on one end, but guess what? This is more important, the seal, and see if he can knock down two. Now remember, he just missed his last two free throws. He's got a chance to give Xavier a two-possession lead here. Has to hit them both. And he cannot hit the first. That is Arizona ball. Shot clock is off. Arizona down two. Perhaps the last possession. Trier, he's been hot. Three-pointer is up. Trier, no. And the ball is loose. And it is Xavier. Bernard comes away with it. Top ticks. And that's it. Xavier has upset Arizona.